what has been the most challenging part of your the marriage, like your marriage, and what did you learn about each other all from it? From that. So for the three years you've been married, what has been the yeah, and what did you learn from it? Like how what did you learn about each other because of that challenge? What did you learn from it? And for the two months, <laughs> like what has been the challenge? Who knows? <laughs> some some people. Hey, uh, let me ask people because uh, some people after three days they are divorcing. The challenge has come already, and they can't stand it. So two months is quite. Sometimes maybe there is, maybe there isn't. We thank God if there is nothing, but yeah. Okay, so every day and every time is a new experience in our marriage life. And so I believe um, one of the things is that when you, when you come together, that's where you, you now get to know each other. And, you know, um, the type of things you, you as a single person, you think, oh, it's normal. It's nothing. Now you are together, so it's not normal anymore. You, you understand? So these are some of the challenges um, when, when, you, when you get into marriage, um, it becomes a challenge. But you learn to live with it. Okay, you learn. You you adjust yourself to the current state where you are in, to to where you are going. So, oh, personally, so, you, <laughs> what the <laughs> three years? So, okay, on my second year, <laughs> hey, me and my wife, we started fighting. I was no. beating her. She was no, beating no, no, me. No, no. I realized and I no. learned from it. That no, he, each no, no, one no. of us, we are no, fighters. No, no. Yes, man. No. You know, <laughs> it, it doesn't. The thing is, as I said, it's my wife and I. We don't. We don't fight. We we might disagree on things, but that doesn't mean we are fighting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I am somebody, as Auntie said, I will. I will not talk about. I will not talk about things. But my wife is somebody who will say, "No, let's do this." She, she, she will give you the deadline. The, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I am somebody who just wait. Let's, let's just Yeah, wait. let it happen. Let it happen, you know. But she is that get go Guilty person. Guilty as charged. You understand? <laughs> so these are some of the challenges. We, we, don't, we don't do all this kind of... We might disagree, but we don't cry. We don't, we don't throw blows on it. Okay. Right. So. Thank you. Um... There was a time that my wife just left her home. She left. I think it was my second born. During the time of our second born, she left home mm. the whole night and came back the following day. Apparently, I just found out just last just just this Christmas we visited the, some friends and she was talking about why she did that. I had um, gotten a job, which the tax was immense. I was the uh, manager of a company. I was the webmaster of the company. I was the sales manager of the company. I was everything. 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 <laughs> Only one company. person. <laughs> yes. And I, I, I was being watched to make sure that what has been birthed out succeed. Mm. So I go to work as early as 7 30 in the morning and I come home around 8. And when I come home, I go straight onto my laptop again. Oh. So it was constantly working. A routine, constantly working. And it was immense. And with a, um, a two year old and a newborn, it was taking a toll on my wife. Yeah. So she made a consensual decision that when I come home, she's going to leave the case for me and go and have a piece at her mom's. Oh. So she did that. I didn't understand it. And I was furious. So I called the mom and I spoke to her and said, look, this is what your daughter has done. I can't find where she is. And she knows I'll be going to work tomorrow morning. And with my upbringing, well, I didn't meet my dad, but I knew that a man is the one that provides for the family. Mm -hmm. So well, when we got married a year after a year, that is when I got a job. So I was all zealous to make sure that the work worked so that I would be able to provide for my family. Mm -hmm. So I was putting my all into the work, neglecting my family. So it was a challenge, and I, I didn't know how to go about it. Yeah. And the other one is coming to church late. 
is something that I dislike. It spoils my whole service. If I turn up to church late, especially as an usher, I do not like it. I will make sure with our four kids, bath them and all that. And my wife will still come late. Even though I've helped her bath the kids and iron things overnight. <laughs> so I went straight to first lady and said, my gift tea. Look, look at what Grace is doing. I, I've ironed the clothes. I've helped her bath the kids and everything. But she still comes to church late. And said, so, oh, my son. She <laughs> said, my son. Have you also thought of it that maybe when you left the house, some of the children have made a mess and she needs to clean it? Um, tells her I might have spilled something on her clothes and she needs to change it. Have you considered all of those things? No. I was like, no. no. <laughs> okay. so that might be the reason why they are late. So just give her time. And that, that sunk deep down. I was like, oh, cha, for me. Just say I'm going to talk to her so that she comes to church only. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you dumping my That spirit? wasn't the answer you were, you were expecting. From that day, I just decided, you know what? I'll get a car up to church then. If they are, when they are ready, they would come. So those are the and tough challenges in those yeah. 10 years. Issue. That's powerful. Thank you. Yeah. We, we don't really fight with my husband. I've gotten to know my husband since we were children. We were in the same church. We've been there all through and we, we were in the same youth fellowship together until I left. And there was a time, okay, they overthrown me for the presidency. That my husband there. Oh. <laughs> he did the coup against Oh, you. yes. It was a coup, oh, <laughs> coup d'etat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's continuously making a joke to just create the lightness yeah. in the laughter. However, we've had our own challenges that we'll deal with within a marriage. Uh, since we came together, we had our, tri our first daughter. I started having continuous miscarriages. So over those times, I've had like five miscarriages. And that can put a very big like toll on a family. Yeah. When that happens, these are very difficult times. Because you, you suffer loss in the same way as if you, you're suffering loss in physical yeah. times. And in most times, I'm not someone who like sharing things with other people outside my home. Mm. So in most cases, it'll be maybe pastor and to give who would know. And just my husband, even that I'm, I'm pregnant because I don't really grow that big, uh, very quick because I'm very small. So then at the end of, at the end of it, we'd have to deal with that psychological, uh, effect of it. Yeah. And we would have to deal with, the emotional side of it, but I found that he's been really strong, strong and supportive in those times, you know? So for me, it has been a blessing in the times that we're going through that difficult times to have been married to him mm. because it could have been, you could have been married to someone who in that situation, they will start nagging you and making as if you caused the entire problem. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So this is, these are, significant challenges that we've had to deal with in our own time and I've had difficult time with ill health but I always knew that my husband would be there 24 hours making sure I am fine and he would do absolutely everything to make sure I am good within the, within those times so you need that kind of a person in a marriage so even we deal with those challenges and they've made us stronger and more closer to to, to each other so you you feel like ah if i'm going through these times and this person indeed have respect the vows that we took for better and for worse and have stood by you in times of sicknesses though you there's nothing else you feel like what what position or where would i be that i would just decide oh i'm not going to be there anymore that's that's powerful the what the uh, the saying uh it goes to confirm the saying that what doesn't break you makes you stronger. And so oh, we are grateful for such challenge. It's a testimony, actually, a, a powerful testimony that uh, some of us are learning from those of us who are upcoming negative experience, people we are learning from. You know, as human beings, we enter in different seasons in our lives. And as season comes and goes, um, it takes some time to 
you know, adjust yourself in anything. It takes a time to to set your mind in that particular yeah. um, style or approach. So, uh, personally, I I had to learn that my way is not only my way. Like, it's not my uh-huh. way is not. Uh, it's not the right way. Not only my way is the right way. And uh, I also learn how to think of someone first, as um, Mr. Alfred said. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, and yeah, especially, like, you know, when you've been, when you live with yourself, with yourself um, I've moved from home as a teenager and then came to this country so um you know it's just being me and myself <laughs> the freedom <laughs> the freedom is there <laughs> so yeah so you know when you're tight in money you know you can squeeze yourself and you know um so, but, survive on the yeah, but, but now but now you know you have to think it's and it's good i mean it's it's i think it's part of the the blessing the favor that comes yeah. with it. like it's uh it's 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 a way t- to grow um, and uh, another thing that I, I, yeah, I was thinking actually is that not to take criticism as you know personal, like mm-hmm. you know this is what I don't like, but think of you know because it's a journey and because it's you know two in one, I started thinking of okay this is what she's not like and this is how i can make the journey experience the marriage experience good for her like mm-hmm. this is what i can bring to the table you know what i know that she doesn't like it's not because i'm bad or it's not you know a critique on me but it's how i can make life easier for her yeah. in the whole journey of what marriage for is for both of you in both general us, yeah. because um yeah so yeah. these are the few things that's uh, wonderful like i'm very very happy listening to you yeah and uh i believe that when the time comes maybe not today maybe in the future when you are facing a, such a, a, a challenge there is going to be one a, a, a challenge one challenge or another in the marriage that you have to face but when you are facing remember that the testimony of the people here and how they've been able to overcome it it shows that you can overcome yours as well and don't just give up on things yeah marriage will teach you to work on things and make it better so god richly bless you after all the discussion what we've been able to talk about and hearing from people that have been in uh, in it for a while have you decided to give up <laughs> okay now uh, i've changed my mind or has it strengthened you even more <laughs> that okay now i'm even bent on getting married even more now um, what stood out to me the most was what um in regards to um not changing anyone as you mentioned earlier accepting them for who they are as, as i mean that's how god has made them to be and if they're yeah just adjusting adjusting with your partner is what stood out to me the most out of um, most important things we've discussed today mm-hmm. so i'll keep that on board and when when i get married uh and i see this year uh, in May, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would. Uh, no th- pressure. No, uh, no pressure. pressure. No pressure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, powerful, uh, Sister Barbara. I think I've learned too much today. Well, there's nothing like too much, but yeah, thank you. Um, you know, for all the examples, I was looking for typical examples that would sit in my head. Um, so I would definitely like always remember them. But the few things that stood out for me was what Auntie kept on repeating. It depends on what lens you're looking at the thing. It's, I just, I think that just covers everything. You know, if you think they're doing something wrong, how are you looking at it? So, that, yeah, Auntie, God bless you, wherever you got that. <laughs> um, God bless you for sharing that. And also, um, this marriage is, is no one street. 
you know, it's, you guys kept saying it, it's no one's treat. When you feel like it's not always that you don't like something, your husband don't like something too, but he doesn't say it. You know, um, no one is perfect. So in that case, you also need to learn to compromise and adjust. But I, I hope that viewers who are watching, uh, I know that this is not a live uh, discussion. It's a pre-recorded uh, discussion. But then under the comments, we can still discuss. So if you have any question pertaining to the things that we say, we said or anything on your mind, just feel free to put it under the comments section and let's discuss among ourselves. Let's keep the discussion going. The, to uh, the topic is why marry? Let's keep the discussion going. Let's help ourselves and shopping each other in this light. God bless all of you for availing yourself and giving us your time, valuable time, coming to speak about your experiences, about your marriage. Some people will feel like it's personal and they don't want to share, but you are willing to put your own uh, experience and your own marriage out there so that we can learn from it. God bless you for being here and God bless you for participating. Yeah, so we will end here. And we will be bringing you more and more content as time goes on. Don't uh, keep out, uh, keep on watching uh, for new things, new topics to discuss. And we hope that these will all help make our year a better one. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Amen. Amen. <laughs>